Hi, Falcons. As a Falcon, you are probably a bird lover, just like me. And we just learned about the artist Autobahn, who was very famous for taking views of birds and painting them. He was a conservationist, which is somebody who is very interested in studying birds and saving the habitats that they lived in. So today, we are going to be inspired by Audubon and begin creating our own scene using a bird in winter. This is going to be a two-day assignment, which means you will work on it today and then the next class period as well. This is an example of what we are going to be making today. And I can't wait for us to get started. You are going to need today a sheet of paper that was available at school, but if you weren't able to get to school to get it, that's just fine. You can come and pick it up at school or you can use the piece of paper you have at home. This piece of paper I chose is 12 by six and I'm going to use it going the long way. I'm also going to need a pencil with an eraser. So get your supplies and join me. I am going to start with my sheet of paper that is 12 inches by six inches. Again, if you were unable to get that size and use a different size, it's just fine. And we are going to start at the very edge of our paper. And we are going to make a swooped line coming up like that. We are then going to make another swooped line coming down like this and go right off the page. That is going to be our Cardinal's body. Right here is his belly. Cardinals have kind of a mask looking type thing happening. So we're gonna go like this and draw an eye inside. So it looks like the bird is wearing a mask. We are then going to add our bird's beak, just like that. We also want to add our bird's wing. And we're just gonna do it simply like this. Behind our bird, we want it to look like our bird is actually in the tree. So we are going to have branches coming out from where our bird is roosting or sitting. We want it to look like he is actually sitting in the tree. So I am just going to make some branches coming out from around our bird. I really want to take my time and do a nice job on this. When I am done, I am going to go over those pencil lines with a black Sharpie. This will really help guide us when we get to the second day of our lesson and we start adding color to our painting. I could add details such as creating texture and billowiness on our bird. And I can also add details onto my tree by adding texture, by creating lines. Lines help us to create texture. And that is all we are going to do for our day one on our art project. When you are finished, yours will look something like mine. I'll go up higher so you can see it that I made in advance. And we are going to stop right there until we get to our day two. It is the 
second day of our Autobahn project where we are working on our paintings inspired by John Autobahn, who was a famous artist and conservationist. We are going to need the following today. You are going to need that paper you started yesterday with your cardinal bird and he's sitting in a tree. You are going to need this and I'm going to use paints today. If you have a little paint set that came with your forest wall art pack at the beginning of the school year, pull that out with a brush. You will also want to use a protective surface to lay your picture on because we certainly want, would not, excuse me, want to ruin any of our tables or furniture at home. Another important thing you are going to need is a glass of water. Don't use a fancy cup. I just use this plastic cup that's okay to throw away and we're going to be using this to clean our brush. So gather your materials and let's get started. There are several things to keep in mind when painting and that is to be very gentle with our brush. It is not a toilet brush that will ruin our brush and we want to keep our brushes nice and in good shape. So I am going to start with my bird's body. So I'm going to open up that red and just lightly stick my paint in there and begin painting my red bird. Being very careful of the lines that I drew. Notice how I'm not going like that. I am very gentle with my brush. And if you could excuse me, I'm going to yell for my assistant. Lovely assistant, can you please bring me a paper towel? Again, lovely assistant, could you please bring me a paper towel? My lovely assistant's ignoring me. Dear husband, Jerry, can you please bring me a paper towel? Yes, I'm talking to you. Can you get me a paper towel, please? I'm recording and I need a paper towel. My lovely assistant brought me a paper towel and that was awesome because I am ready to clean my brush and dry it off. We always want to dry that brush off if we're using real paint. If we're using watercolor, we don't need to, but if you're using real paint, you're going to want to. I am then going to switch and paint my blue sky. Now, if I wanted to make my blue lighter, I would just add some white paint because adding white to a color makes it lighter, but I chose my dark blue. But you certainly, as I showed you in the example before, can add white to your blue paint to create a darker color. Can you hear my dog barking? This is quite an exciting video that you are getting today because not only are you learning to paint birds, you get to hear dogs in the background. So I am painting my blue sky behind him. I'm gonna show you I hope you do a better job than I am doing. I am trying to show you this. My blue sky. Now on my blue sky, I do want it to look like winter. So something I can do, which is really cool, and if you don't have white paint, white chalk will work after your paint is dry, is if I add this and put it right here, it'll look like snow sitting 
in the trees. The snow is sitting in the trees. I'm also going to add snowflakes coming down so it looks like a winter scene. I'm going to keep painting, adding that brown that I want to add to the branches, but that white paint, adding that is really key to creating a winter looking project. When I'm all finished, you'll notice I colored painted, it should I say, my bird red, and I gave him that black mask, and I painted his eye yellow and his beak yellow just to really make it pop and stand out. I have him sitting in his tree, and again, I added that white detail, sitting there, some snow sitting on the branches and falling from the sky to really create a beautiful Autobahn scene showing a cardinal in his natural habitat in the winter, excuse me. Now you know you need to ask yourself those questions. Did you follow directions? Did you use good craftsmanship and paint very neatly? And were you creative? Is this an original piece? inspired by Autobahn. You synthesized, you took his ideas and really made them your own. If you answered yes, you know to sign your name because that is what great artists do. Upload your picture and send it to me because I would love to see your Autobahn inspired bird. Have a great day.